Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Crystal, and thank you for joining me today. Let's talk about... I must have had a hair on my hand because when I did like this, a hair just... Let's talk about armpits, guys. That's probably a weird topic, uh, but let's talk about armpits, okay? We're gonna talk about pits today. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. If you have not watched my Truly uh, haul with the big set, you should definitely do that because that's what sparked my love of my armpits. That sounds weird, but okay. Specifically today, I'm going to talk about the Truly Organics or... Some of their stuff says organic, some of it just says truly. The Truly Beauty brand deodorant, okay? This is unicorn fruit scented. Hold on, okay? Before, we're going to talk about the scent. We're going to talk about everything. Don't run off, okay? This is $16. Is it pricey? Yes. It is brightening, smoothing, aluminum-free, vegan, clean, high performance. It's three ounces that you get in here. And if you've ever tried anything from Truly, if you've ever smelled the unicorn fruit scent, you will know that, in my opinion, I would think it would be a scent that people either love or hate. You're not going to feel indifferent about it. Okay, and when I first... When I first saw that it was in the unicorn fruit scent, I was like, uh-oh, but I still want to try it because I have grown to really like Truly's products. Guys, I'm not sponsored. Goodness, I wish I was. I really like their products, though. I have placed, like, I want to say five orders <laughs> since I bought that big box um, because I'm replacing stuff I've used all of and I've also ordered other things. One of the things that I ordered was the Pit... It's like Pit Perfection, Pit Perfect. I don't remember exactly what it's called. I'll link it down below. Kit. It included the deodorant, their razor, which is Amazeballs. Um, sorry, I've got some oil on here from when I got out of the tub last night. So it's kind of oily at the bottom. Um, it The set has the deodorant, the razor, the Moon Rocks Scrub, which is so good. It smells good, and it's a very finely milled scrub that kind of lathers up, really get your pits ready. And then the Cocoa uh, Cloud Whipped Body Shaving Butter, Whipped Shaving Butter, or something like that, um, is amazing, okay? And then it comes in a cute little, or with a cute little bag, but that's neither here nor there. Um, this deodorant, I thought to myself, all right, I'm going to get this. I'm going to try it out. I'm not going to like it. I'm never going to buy it again. I will never buy another deodorant. I am very big on aluminum free deodorants. Ever since I learned exactly what aluminum putting it under your armpit can do to your body, especially as a woman, you know, um, I started using aluminum free deodorant back when I was breastfeeding um, because I was like, my, my children, my babies are nursing from here and I'm putting chemicals right here. You know what I mean? But anyways, so I like natural deodorants. Now, have I gone through all of the ingredients on here with a fine tooth comb? No, I have not. I did kind of look at the back of my native deodorant and kind of compare some of the ingredients to the native deodorant. Um, there's a lot of like fruit oils in this um, and stuff like that. From what I can tell, there's nothing crazy in here um, other than there is uh, fragrance in it, but there's some sort of fragrance pretty much in all. There's a fly in here pretty much in all like deodorants, uh, especially if they're not antiperspirants because uh, they're trying to keep you from stinking. So you kind of need some sort of fragrance. So, I mean, pick your poison. Um, and this just came out recently. So honestly, there, there probably isn't a whole lot of uh, 
info out there about the long the using this for a long period of time, but I really, really like it. Let me talk to you about why I like it. I have always been someone, I have very coarse body hair, except for on my arms. Thank goodness the hair on my arms is almost blonde and it's very, very soft. You can barely even see it. But on my legs and underneath my on my armpits, I have very coarse, dark hair. And so I get irritation, razor burn, ingrown hairs, razor bump, all that kind of stuff on my armpits, okay? So I wouldn't want to show my armpits because they would be irritated 90% of the time or they would be hairy because I just didn't shave them because I didn't want them to be irritated and itchy because they would get itchy. Um, there were times when I would exercise and my armpits would be so irritated, I would have to like put something on like in the crease of my armpit and like keep my arms like clamped down because just the sweat in itself and the friction felt like my armpits were on fire because they were already so irritated from shaving. Okay. Um, I started using the Moon Rocks and the Shave Butter from the Truly, the first Truly set. And that helped. I noticed my armpits were like a lot more chill. And then I started using, they have a Kuka um, oil that's for your bikini line whenever you shave. And I started using that on my armpits because I'm like, okay, your bikini line is very, very sensitive. And if this is meant to help that area not get razor bumps, I'm using them on my armpits. So I started using it on my armpits and that really, really helped. Okay. Then I bought the, oh, the pit set also comes with the Jelly Booster Serum that's for your armpits. And so I got the pit set and I started using the whole set, the Moon Rock Scrub, the shave butter, the razor, the deodorant, the jelly booster, and still the Kuka oil <laughs> um, on my pits. And I have not had an ingrown hair. I have not had razor burn. I have not had irritation, any of that since I started using it. And at first I thought maybe it was just a fluke, but th this can't be a fluke. I've been using these products for over a month and I have been shaving almost daily and it's not irritated. I was somebody that tried shaving daily. I was like, all right, if, if no hair is, has the chance to like come out, maybe that will help. No. And then I'm like, okay, I'll shave less. That didn't help. Like I had very, very sensitive armpits and whatever is in these products is helping my pits so much. And so I just wanted to share this with you guys in case there's anybody else out there that has the same issue as me because I kind of felt like I was alone, but I know I can't be the only one. Also, I kept reading that these products were brightening and I was like, why do you need bright armpits? And now I know why. Guys, I didn't even know that I needed to brighten my armpits until I started using the products and I started noticing like my pits look really pretty and I'm proud to show my pits. You know what I mean? Like before I would wear a tank top and I'm like consciously like, okay, keep your arms down, keep your arms down. And now I'm just like, Hey, <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay. So I told you guys I would talk about the scent. If you've smelled the unicorn fruit, like body polish or the body butter or anything like that, I want to go ahead and tell you that this scent for the deodorant smells like it, but it's not as strong. Once you put it on your armpits, you're not getting like this overwhelming kick to the face of this scent because in the body polish and stuff, the unicorn fruit is a little bit of like a stronger scent. And I am someone that's very, very sensitive to a lot of different things, especially when it comes to like lotions, deodorants, uh, bath products, stuff like that. This does not bother me at all. It does not bother me at all. And I was afraid that the scent, sometimes really heavily scented things will irritate my armpits. It hasn't irritated it once. So I just wanted to tell you that if you are on the market for an aluminum-free deodorant and you have tried all the ones out there, 
Um, I know there are a lot of people that don't really like Native. I do like Native deodorants. They work for me. I have tested this through workouts, through runs. I have tested this out through so many hot, sweaty days. And there's no B.O. I'm just saying. Do I still sweat? Well, yeah, I do. It's not an antiperspirant. It's a deodorant. But there's no B.O. You're not stinky. You're not smelly. And when I was testing this out, like, hardcore at first, I would put it on and then do a, a hard workout. And I would even get, like, my son. I'd be like, smell my armpit. What do you smell? And he's like, fruit. He says it's, he, he knows what it's called. He's seen me put it on. He smelled it. He likes to smell things. And so he knows what the smell is. And you can still smell it after being sweaty and working out. So I'm just saying, if you're somebody that's been looking for an aluminum-free deodorant and you haven't found that one that really, like, works, give this a try. I know it's a little pricey, but truly, it's pretty amazing. They, if you sign up for emails and text, they will email you and text you semi-regularly, but they love to slip into my text messages and randomly just give me 15% off. So I'm just saying, and they have a point system, so you can earn money off. The last order I placed, I saved $25 off of my order from points that I had. So I'm just saying get the deodorant. Um, it's a screw top, so you unscrew the lid. Guys, do not, do not look at this and think, oh my gosh, um, I've almost used all of this. I actually need to buy another one. So there's a hole in mine from the little, you know, the plastic thing that comes up when you unscrew it and screw it. Um, yeah, I think I've used, oh, there we go. Here's some. Yeah, I've almost used all of it. Ah, it's so sad. Um, but it's just really, really nice. It's just a white deodorant. But I will show you. See, like, it's not, like, white and clumpy or anything. Like, you can see my armpits pretty much look the same. And I, that was a fly. See, the fly even like. No, like my kids like to leave the door open, the, the back door open when they go in and out and then flies come in. And then we get to live with flies until it's too cold in here and they drop dead. But as you can see, it's not a white clump-tastic mess. It's great. 10 out of 10, five stars, do recommend, will repurchase. Probably will repurchase this week sometime uh, just so I can get it in. Their shipping is fairly quick. It does come USPS, I do believe. Um, but I'm in the US and this it does get to my house fairly quickly. So no big deal. Um, everything has been nice and good. Uh, they put the stuff that has the possibility of melting in uh, a melt-free bag. Sorry, there's like a is like flying around um like a, a heat protectant bag in the mail um so you should be good this came when it was like over 90 degrees and it wasn't melted at all so two thumbs up um again like i said this is not sponsored these are i bought this with my own money this is my opinion and my experience with it if any of you out there have issues with your armpits and shaving and stuff and you want to see my armpit routine and I'm talking about I'll get like I'll show you what I do in the shower I'll show you the razor and how I shave I'll show you the serums I put on and how I apply everything like I'll show you the whole shabam if you want to see that give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below to say and just say armpit routine that's all I need. Just leave the words armpit routine and I will film that for you guys and get it out to you as fast as I can because honestly, if anybody else is struggling with their armpits, you, you don't want to be self-conscious about your pits. That's all I'm saying. Um, I love you guys. If you have not subscribed, please consider doing so before you go and I will see you next time. Bye.